Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to study about addressing modes of microcontroller. So let's start with definition of addressing modes. What is addressing modes? Addressing mode is a way to address an operand. And here, what this operand mean? Operand means the data we are operating upon. We can take example MOVA hashtag 6AH. Here data 6A is operand, also known as source data. When this program or code is executed, data 6AH moves to accumulator A. This A is accumulator here. Addressing mode can be a direct address of memory, any numerical value or register name, etc. There are various ways in which the instruction is specified. Whatever instruction that we are writing in assembly language program code using five addressing modes. That is types of addressing modes. First one is immediate addressing mode. Second is direct addressing modes. Third is register addressing mode. Fourth is register indirect addressing modes. And fifth one is indexed addressing mode. You will find uh, many other types of addressing modes, but here we will study about these five addressing modes. So, starting with the uh, first one that is immediate addressing mode. In this mode, the source operand is constant. So, it just like whatever source operand is value we are given means the immediate data we are giving immediate data must be preceded by sign this hashtag we use this hashtag to represent um, this immediate addressing mode or um, uh, using this symbol we can um, come to know that this program considers immediate addressing mode we can see here example movea hashtag 25h movr4 hashtag 62 movdptr hashtag 4521h movea hashtag a in bracket here 25 this 25 is nothing but constant value that is load into register a and in this line 62 is a decimal value in uh, register 4 in next step that is mov dptr hashtag 4521h and this 4521h value will be load into data pointer second one is direct addressing modes it means the address of data is given as operand location of ram starts from 30 to 7 fh 8051 will have 128 byte we can take example or we can understand it through example that is mov r0 40h this represent this 40h represents here ram location it save content of ram location 40h in r0 so whatever location when suppose we here in 40h location there are some content that will be moved to r0 register in next step mov 56h comma a this step save content of a in ram location 56h means here 56h represents ram location in which content of a is saved 
and next step mov a4 it is same as mov a1 r4 we can see on this immediate one uh, uh, mov mov a4 it is same as mov a r4 means uh, which mean copy it copies content of r4 into a mov r6 uh, comma r2 this should be invalid this step should be invalid because you didn't mention location here ram location you have to mention here either you have to write accumulator or register now coming to third addressing mode that is register addressing mode it involves the use of register or register bank to hold the data to be manipulated for example mov a comma r i mov r i comma a mov a comma r i mov r i comma a mov dpl comma r6 in this example we can see uh, here in first step mov a comma r i it copy the contents of r i into a the next step uh, co it copy contents this step represents that content of a is copied into r i and this is same uh, this uh, third step add a r i this step represents that contents of r i and a will be added and in this fourth step mov r i comma a save accumulator in r i this is the description of this example step wise and now coming to fourth addressing mode that is register indirect addressing mode in this mode register is used as pointer to the data this you have to remember that register is used as pointer to the data in data in this data is inside the cpu only register r0 and r1 are used for this purpose it's given that all register banks are allowed and the address of data is given in register operand and we can understand it through example mov a comma at the rate r i what does it represent this represents that move content of ram location whose add is held by r i in this a the content of register r not and r1 is source and target in mov add and subtract instru instruction okay now coming to fifth and the last one addressing mode index indexed addressing modes what is this this mode is used in accessing data elements of lookup table entries located in program code room at 8051 this addressing mode we can understand it through example and example is given here that is mov c this c represents here or so the copy function mov c a comma at the rate a plus dptr and second step is mov c a comma at the rate a plus pc what this dptr represents here it represents data pointer and this 
a content of add a plus gptr from room and this movc a at the rate a plus pc in this pc represents program counter and this both gptr and pc are 16 bit registers addition will result new data which is taken as address of source data so all this for this class and i hope you all now have a clear cut understanding of 8051 addressing modes thank you and best of luck